Right, 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 right. Um, before we get, like, randomly sidetracked and never talk about anything that anyone actually <laughs> cares about, uh, which is very possible, um, did you see the announcement for the, what is it called, the... Asus ROG Xbox Ally X, I think is the name. Not the official announcement, but I've seen, like, Mudahar's video and, <laughs> uh, who else's video? Someone else made a video on it mm -hmm. that I watched that I can't remember Basically now. every tech channel made one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, it was kind of like um, the, the big news over the past couple of days. I don't think I watched LTT's video on it. I watched someone else's. Mm -hmm. I wish I could remember who. I am very... I don't really care about the device, right? Like, it's it's another gaming handheld. Like, it's it's a 900 right. USD handheld. It's not going to sell exceptionally oh, well. I didn't know it was that much. Sorry? Didn't know it was that much. Yeah, we don't know the official pricing of the Xbox branded version, but the original version is $900. So I would imagine it's at least the same amount. Maybe Microsoft is doing some sort of, like, subsidization... Uh, Subs We're gonna move Subsidizing. Past that. That's the yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm trying to say. Um Maybe they're doing that, but if not, yeah, it'd probably be at nine hundred USD. Um so I don't really care about the device. I can't imagine they would, because mm, they don't own not. the stores. Right, right, right. They do on Windows. It is a like a direct partnership between the two. That's why it's like an Xbox branded device. It might be a little cheaper, but it's yeah. probably still at least seven hundred. If they subsidize it that much, I, look, that would be crazy. But yeah, I mean, I'm well, no, it'd probably be 800 because mm. say they just subsidize the Windows license. The Windows mm. license is like, what, 120? Somewhere in that range, yeah. Probably like 850. Mm -hmm. What I think will be a lot more interesting with the device isn't the hardware itself, but it, it's what they're doing with Windows because it's still really early days. We don't yeah. really know entirely the details there but it's like a stripped down version of windows not just stripped down like what a regular person can do but microsoft has gone in and just cut out tons of nonsense i know that uh didn't they let the xbox team do that yeah 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 which <laughs> microsoft remembered they own xbox <laughs> every so often they remember it <laughs> It's like, why can't we do a gaming-focused UI? And Xbox is just in the corner like, boss, you, you know I've been here for like 10, 15 years, right? <laughs> well, the Xbox has always run like a modified version of Windows anyway. Like, there was no reason yeah. they couldn't have done it earlier. Or at least it used the same kernel. I don't know if it was actually Windows. Um, depends on the version. It's not the, the Windows shell, obviously. But it definitely is no, using no. a lot of that, like, uh, core cool Windows. It, it's using the Windows kernel and some Windows tooling around it. Yeah, I knew it was using the Windows kernel, and I knew it was using, at least some of them were using, like, modified DirectX. Mm -hmm. uh, if I remember right, like, the Xbox 360 was running a version of DirectX 10 that had some stuff from 11, so it was, like, mm -hmm. a DirectX 10.5. I want to say the Xbox series whatever the current generation is called i'm pretty sure it's just running dx12 probably i could be mistaken there but that sounds right to me i even wouldn't be surprised if it was using vulcan <laughs> <laughs> yeah that would be fun um what do you think of this it may be that the xbox series like ah we don't want to fuck with this less work we have to do to maintain it have someone else do it just throw it in there <laughs> that's true what do you think of this uh this new version of windows assuming like obviously we can't really be sure until it's like in the hands of people but assuming right. that the things they're claiming are true which is far less battery usage far less system resource usage just generally considerably lighter like i'm personally interested in i'm not gonna run it on like a main machine but as like a, a home theater pc thing or on a secondary hand so, like some other device where i don't really care about it i can see that oh. being like really compelling to people i never thought about it for a home theater pc yeah that would fix a lot of issues with using like linux on a home theater pc Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. as uh apparently the biggest issue with using uh linux as your home theater pc is uh level one wide vine <laughs> it doesn't work on on uh, Linux. Mm-hmm. You get level two and level three. Yeah, isn't level 
to what like Crunchyroll and stuff like that does? Yeah, Crunchyroll. I think Crunchyroll might use level three as well. Um, mm -hmm. it's... Yeah, it's. No, it uses either two or three, but it doesn't use level one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never been able to find like a good explanation on why this is the case. <laughs> uh, as far as I know, it has to be tied to hardware as well. Mm. Uh, and it has to be implemented in the OS level's default browser. Oh, okay, okay. Linux doesn't have that. <laughs> right, Linux ships right. with whatever browser they feel like. <laughs> I could imagine maybe there being, like, a partnership then with, like, major distros. Like a, hey, we're going to do a thing where in the Firefox on Fedora, it works. Uh, No, it would be Google Chrome. Because Google made Widevine. That's... Okay, yeah. Maybe it'll never happen then. <laughs> yeah. That's... Google controls so much online. Mm, mm. Yeah. Um, Google's great. We love them. They also control uh, the other major browser, which is also great. Uh... <laughs> But like, okay, ignoring the, the like the HTPC stuff, but like the the gaming stuff. Have you seen the reports of uh, games running better on Linux than they are on Windows? Like, it's not because there's something magical about Linux. It's because Windows is so goddamn slow that like yes, it makes I up for the difference. Uh, I watched the Dave Two D video about it. Um, and then I saw someone's kind of response video to it that hmm. was a little concerned with how he tested it because he didn't post like what settings he ran stuff at. Mm. Which is a valid thing to ask fair fair i have seen like i did see like that big one but there have been people reporting stuff like this for a long time like i remember uh years ago with i think it was the first of the tomb reader reboots there was like a 5 fps delta it, it looked slightly better on linux but like that's depend like that might be depending on the card you're using driver version might be a bit funky. Anymore. <laughs> sorry that's not the case anymore. <laughs> but like, I, I, I do think a really stripped down gaming focused version of Windows, it, it's sort of, it gives me some concern with how like Linux adoption for things like anti-sheet are going to go, right? Because if like the Steam Deck... Yeah, was that is something I'm really concerned with. Mm -mm. Like when it was I the only game in that... town, like it made a lot of sense. Like, and you were starting to see devs sort of adopt anti-cheat on Linux. But if people are just running a gaming-focused version of Windows and it sort of eats into that already fairly small market share, like, yeah, I don't know. That's definitely something I've seen. I've seen some people trying to claim, I don't know if this is true or not, this may be mm. total conspiracy, of uh, that Microsoft is only doing this because they're concerned about Linux growing. Mm. They're just like, oh, Linux is growing in all the handheld PCs. Fuck that. We're cutting that down right now. I do think there's definitely... Like, in my video, I, I definitely did raise part of that as a concern. Like, I... Microsoft has seen these numbers. They know that, like, it, once the anti-cheat problem is dealt with, for a lot of people, Windows really isn't going to be necessary for them anymore. Like, they might have a Windows PC yeah. for their job, but as, like, a gaming system, as their main system... If you can do all of the gaming stuff you want, and then most of the other stuff you use is in a browser anyway, like your Discord, there's a client for it, or it's in your browser, yeah. and pretty much every, like you, most of the time you spend in a browser on websites anyway, for a lot of people, if it's not a work machine, like Linux is going to do everything they want. Right. And that is the case for a lot more people than they realize. They just don't try it or don't know it exists. Yeah, it's I I understand the anti-cheat problem, right? Like I specifically choose games where it's just not a problem, but I get it for people who they play one game, right? Like they're a they're right, a League yeah. of Legends player, they're a CS:GO player. They, yeah, like all the uh all the VTubers who are like Valorant girlies. That's right, all right. they play. It's just they stream Valorant six hours a day, which mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know how that doesn't drive people insane. <laughs> I can't do shooters anymore. Like I, I like Marvel Rivals is the only one that I kinda get into, but it's it's already gotten to that like it's already gotten to the, the problem that Overwatch had where people know the characters way too well now and lobbies are an yeah. absolute chaos, especially with the 
with the high movement characters, like, you see a, a Spider-Man or a Black Panther just fucking zoom across the screen. I, I can't even move my mouse that quickly. I don't know what to do with you. 